In this video, I'm taking a look at the Bounty Hunter Collection Bosque Star Wars Funko Pop. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Christopher. Welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel, I do weekly Star Wars reviews, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so this is the Bosk Bounty Hunter Collection Bosk Star Wars Funko Pop. He is number 437 in the, the series of Star Wars Funko Pops. Uh, he is the second in this collection here, so as you can see... Boba Fett and Bosk are revealed on this one, but I already did a review on the Boba Fett and the IG-88 because I, I happened to get the IG-88 first. This guy came in a bit later. Um, as for packaging, pretty simple. You just got the black and gray all the way around the pot, the, the packaging. On the back, you get the the photograph of the, the bounty hunter there on the Death Star, or not the Death Star, the Star Destroyer Bridge. Um, you got the rest of the Funko Pops in the collection here. So you got the Boba Fett, you got the Boss. Um, and as they come out, the, they'll reveal the rest of them. So we already know what the rest are going to be. It's going to be the rest of the Bounty Hunters on the, the Star Destroyer Bridge from that scene in Empire Strikes Back. Um... But other than that, just your typical Funko Pop branding all the way around the box here. It is an EB Games exclusive up here in Canada. Uh, GameStop exclusive down in the States, I believe. Uh, I'm thinking they'll probably switch this over to GameStop in the future as, as most of the EB Games have already switched over to GameStop now here in Canada. So, pretty simple packaging, but let's get this guy out of the box. We'll take a closer look at him and then we'll... we'll connect them to the other two bounty hunters that I have on my desk here and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here is Bosk out of the packaging, and I gotta say he looks really, really awesome. He looks very menacing. He's got a really good bobble to him. He does, of course, come on that gray non-removable base for this, this collection of uh, Funko Pops, and they all join in one row, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, but, man, is this guy detailed. Like, he is... They did a really good job on the sculpt on this one. I do really like the the orange eyes on this one compared to the I think it was was a black eyes on the original boss or yellow eyes or something but I really like these eyes better I think they were black eyes on the the original boss Funko Pop but the orange eyes are much much better and like I said very very detailed you got the the kind of yellow jumpsuit you got the white padding on his, his over his jumpsuit the white tubing and stuff like that straps um there is it looks like there's a little bit of weathering on the white there so that's a really nice nice detail it looks like he's seen some action for sure um they painted his his blaster a gloss black which is a nice a nice touch there and then the rest of the black and the other paint on his body and his outfit are or, or matte paint so I like I like when Funko is, does that on these Funko Pops you know they paint the the visors on the helmets a gloss black and make everything else matte so I like that they did that with the, the blaster that he's holding but very very detailed Funko Pop you know you got little little silver details on his belt there little silver details on his the bottom of his pants there. You know, I got some white detailing on his jumpsuit, as I mentioned. The the weathering on the white there as well. 
you got a whatever that symbol is on his his shoulder as well on both shoulders he has that so I'm not quite sure what that logo is there if you if you know what it is let me know in the comments below but overall really awesome looking Funko Pop but let's uh, let's put him next to Boba Fett and IG-88 and see how see how this set is looking so far All right, so here are the Boba Fett and the IG-88 Funko Pops. And then Bosk just kind of sits just at the side, uh, on the other side of Boba Fett there. So I think that's looking really awesome. It's going to be quite large sitting on my desk here once I get the other, the other four to this collection. So I believe the next one is Forlom. I have Forlom pre-ordered already, so I'll be doing a review on that when that comes in. Um, but overall, the Bosque, much better sculpt than the original. The original is still very cool, but this one is, is way better than the original sculpt. Like I said, those orange eyes are very, very cool. Very, very detailed Funko Pop. And they are looking very cool. They're going to look awesome displayed out of the box like this on my desk or wherever you guys want to display them they'll look very very awesome can't wait to complete the collection here I would say my only complaint about this set is that they don't they don't lock in like you can you can slide that right out this one just kind of slides out too so I mean they will be sitting on a, a flat surface so they shouldn't move around too much but it would be nice if the, the base is actually locked into place. But other than that, really awesome set so far. Great looking Bosque here. So that that's one. It looks like one end of the the Star Destroyer bridge. I guess there's, there should be one more on this side, I would imagine. Or maybe two on this side. I'm not too sure. But it's looking great so far. So really cool set. But let me know in the comments what do you guys think of the Bounty Hunter Collection Bosque Star Wars Funko Pop. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click over here to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.